Hey guys, Draven here with Terrell Burgess, and he is a Ram safety, one of my favorite players to watch because of his versatility. Technically, he's listed as a safety, but he's so versatile, he can play pretty much any position in the secondary. So I'm super excited that he's here, and I'm also excited about the Exter Wallet brand. So these are my favorite smart wallets in the world, trackable wallets. Make sure you guys check them out, exter.com, trackable smart wallets. This really took my wallet game to the next level. I never really looked into a smart wallet, but after seeing this, I'm super sold. So make sure you guys check them out. Smart wallets, the best smart wallets in the entire world. So T, what's up? Thank you so much for coming. You Not drove much. two hours to get here, so thank you so much. <laughs> no problem, man of my word. You know, if I say I'll do it, I'll do it. So I'm excited to be here. I know, I'm super pumped that you're here. And you were drafted in 2020 and everybody was super excited about you. The fans, the front office, everybody was like, he is gonna come in and be a difference maker for the team. You did really well in training camp. And then after that, you did really well at the first part of the season, then you broke your ankle. So that was definitely a setback. How is your ankle now? Are you at 100%? Fans want to know coming back, is he ready? Is his mobility back to 100% in that defensive backfield? So mm. what's your response to that? I'm, I'm excited to get back on the field. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing everything possible. I've been running. I've been cutting. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the season to start. I'll be ready when the season starts. Okay, so you're 100% ready to go. Uh, I will be when the season starts. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. I mentioned at the top of this that mm -hmm. I love your versatility, that you can pretty much play traditional corner. You can play nickel. You can play safety. You can do it all. You're like a chameleon out there. Mm-hmm. Why is that possible? Why are you able to just kind of morph into whatever the team needs when you're out there on the field? Throughout the secondary, you can do anything in the defensive backfield. That's one of your strengths. Mm -hmm. I think over the course of my career, I've just done my best to, you know, learn everything I can from the coaches that are, you know, speaking, whether they're speaking to the corners, nickels, safeties, anybody, even the linebackers. I'll do my best to take in whatever information I can because mm -hmm. the more you know, the more valuable you are, right. the more the coaches will want you to be on the field. Right, right, because you provide – a lot of versatility and mm -hmm. coaches look for that and several of your coaches have talked about that well mm -hmm. i read people know how much i love the nfl i read a lot of the off-season blogs and magazines and different articles and bleacher report has said that they believe that you are going to be the breakout star for the rams this season mm -hmm. what's your reaction to that you know those those things don't really uh <laughs> don't really catch my eye i right. just do my do my best put my head down and work and then for the best of my ability. Right. So let everybody kind of hype and then you mm -hmm. just kind of zone in and yeah. focus on what you need to do X's and O's wise on the field. That's right. Amazing. Well, we talked, I remember calling you last year at the beginning of coronavirus mm -hmm. and we were both super freaked out. Like, oh my God, what is this? This is crazy. What's going on with this virus? And you had to play through that as a mm -hmm. rookie. And now things are getting better. Things are opening up. People are starting to get back to normal. So the vibe is going to be a lot different. Mm -hmm. So now, year two, what are the goals? I think I just want to go out there and show, show people that I can play football. I think I, you know, I was just starting to get my feet under me when I got hurt. You know, things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to be able to go out there and show my teammates, my coaches, yeah. and I guess the fans that, we, we, you know, the Rams can do some damage this year. I'm excited right. to go out there and play with them. Yeah, and I'm excited to see you out there. Well, I want to talk about the offensive side of the ball. This was a big story this offseason. Matthew Stafford, mm. now the QB, Jared Goff is gone. I actually worked with both guys. I worked with Matthew Stafford on the NFL side, and then Jared Goff gave me an exclusive interview when I was covering college football. So I like both of those guys. Both of those guys bring great things to the table. Now that there's a new face of the team on the offensive side, what do you think of him? What do you think of this new chapter for the Rams? Um, I feel like I don't really have – I wasn't with the Rams long enough right. to be able to, like, know. Really go deep. Yeah, I mean, obviously I was there with Jared for about, you know, seven months, whatever right, how long right. it was <laughs> right. I don't know, from when I got drafted. But I'm saying, like, I don't know, Matt's, Matt's cool. I loved him. You know, yeah. I love him. He's a good guy. I like, I like Jared as well. You know, I'm I'm excited for Jared in, uh, out there in Detroit, but I'm excited for the, the future here in – here in LA, and I yeah. think Matt's gonna do well. Yeah, what's the vibe with your teammates so far? Just that you've talked to with him, like how does everybody feel about him so far? I feel like they, I feel like everybody likes him. I think yeah. for the most part, you know, we haven't really got too much into you know football stuff. We kind of right. just been going through like you know. So just... it's we're gonna start getting deep in another couple of weeks though. Yeah, yeah, yeah Mini definitely. camp, training camp, everything. Mm -hmm. So so we'll we'll see how it goes in the next few weeks and the next month. Amazing T. All right, guys. Well, it is time for your favorite segment, my favorite segment, the three minute play with Da. 
rapid fire questions showing you more about your favorite athletes off the NFL football field, off the NBA basketball court, off the soccer field, whatever it is they do. We like to peel back the layers because I have a huge personality. That's exactly why I started doing these interviews away from the sidelines on TV was to show a more in-depth look at players. So T, are you ready? Rapid fire. I'm ready. All right, here we go. Okay, so you played college football at the University of Utah. Mm -hmm. I've covered a lot of college football games there. Love Coach Whittingham, watched film with him. What is your favorite thing or what was your favorite thing about living in Utah? Let's Ooh, give Utah, thing about living in Utah. Yeah, let's give Utah some love. Um, like Utah is a great place. Favorite thing about living in Utah, I don't know. I met a lot obviously I met a lot of my, you know, really closest friends out there, so that was a great thing. But favorite thing about living in Utah would probably be the mountains. The mountains kinda look like a backdrop. Mm -hmm. So I think I looked at those every day and I was like, Wow, like that's amazing. So yeah. I would definitely go with the mountains. So the mountains, the scenery, mm -hmm. yeah, wonderful. The scenery. Okay, well the last time I called you, you were eating. So what's your favorite snack? Snack. Yeah, I remember ever? you were like, I'm, I'm like, you were like, oh, I just got home and I called you and you were eating after oh. practice. So favorite snack. Favorite snack. I don't know if I have a favorite snack. I'm gonna tell you my oh. favorite candy. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. We're going sweet. Okay. okay. I'll tell you my. I'm not really big on sweets, but definitely my favorite candy is Reese's, without a doubt. Oh my god. Okay. What type of Reese's though? There's the standard Reese's. Mm. There's the Reese's bites. Honestly, there's the Reese's just, ice cream cone. There's just, several different layers of Reese's. Mm, just Reese's. I feel like most people, the the majority of people will say like the Reese's eggs from Easter right, were probably right, the right. best. Right, right, right. The eggs, yes. But I, I kind of just like Reese's in general. But okay. I do. I, I really love peanut butter. That's really what it is. But okay, Reese's, so you love, are you a peanut butter sandwich guy or is it just the sweet peanut butter uh, Reese's? Just Reese's, yeah, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. how many times a week are we eating Reese's? I don't remember the last time I've had one. Okay, that's, that's good. Because yeah, yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. like going to OD sugar yeah, on yeah, it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you love it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What is your favorite football movie? Favorite football movie? Friday Night Lights. Me too. Every time I watch it, I still it's think so they're going to win. It's so hard to watch yeah. the injury. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I still think they're going to win each time I watch it. So right. That's the, that's you still think they're going to win, and then mm -hmm. you're still... It's like for me when I watch Remember the Titans, and I like hope that Bertier's not going to get hurt, and like every time he still gets hurt. Exactly. So it's... It's it's crazy, but yeah, that's one of my top ones. I watched Any Given Sunday recently too, oh, and that's pretty good. Sunday. That's kind of like a hidden. People talk yeah. about it, but it's kind of forgotten, but mm -hmm. it's still good. Great movie, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx Jamie in the Fox. in the movie doing his thing as the QB. All right, if you could have, if I were to produce a Terrell Burgess movie, so who would who would you want me to hire to play you? Who's the actor? Who's the Terrell Burgess actor? That you would want me to get to play you. See, I got this question before. Okay. You know? Okay. And I wouldn't want anybody to. I'm not an actor, but I wouldn't want anybody else to, you know, play my story. I'd rather me do it myself. Okay, so you would, even but, though you're not an actor, you would become one for your story. I think that's my first answer. Okay. But then again, like you know, <laughs> Denzel Washington, Jamie Foxx, they're both great actors. So okay. I want either one of them. Okay, that even though be, they're like older. Yeah, I think they would. They, okay, I, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I see actors all the time. They they change their you know appearance. Their, their appearance so they could to, go to like the, thirty years younger to yeah, play you. I think they could do well. They would do well. Awesome. Okay, what is your favorite app on your phone besides mm. iMessage? Because we have app. iPhones. So, what is your favorite app on your phone besides like Ooh. iMessage things related to like texting and stuff like that? Favorite app on my phone, I probably would say my Sudoku app. I like doing. What Sudoku. is the Sudoku app? I don't it's know. just me doing Sudoku puzzles. Yeah. Oh, so Sudoku is puzzles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've never even heard of it. Okay. Sudoku. Yeah. The puzzles, I, I like the numbers. I don't really do puzzles. Right? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that would probably I'm be my favorite. I'm a big football chick. I'm football, <laughs> and I like to do that kind of thing. But okay, so Sudoku's puzzles. So are you like? Solving puzzles or are you mm, creating it's puzzles? Like, yeah, it's solving puzzles. Yeah. Okay. Solving okay. A, a Sudoku puzzle. Yeah. A, ma a Sudoku puzzle. I'm going to have to Google that mm -hmm. later and like check it out. And then I'll text you like my progress. It's whatever. definitely difficult. I'll uh, be honest. Oh, okay. So I'm yeah. going to have to really try. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll check it out. That's interesting. I would say mine are probably Instagram and YouTube because those are my business platforms. Oh. So I love social media and stuff like that. All right. Who is your best friend on the Rams? Ooh. Who is your best? I know you could say maybe one or two if, there, if it gets too deep because those are your boys. Probably Jordan Fuller. Jordan Fuller. Jordan Fuller, yeah. That's okay. My guy. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so we're just going to stand alone with him. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Fuller. Fuller. Probably, that's my guy. That's yeah. your guy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Jordan Fuller. Okay. We just came in together. You know, we were yeah. at the combine together. So I think I definitely would have to go with him. Nice. What is your favorite healthy habit? Like, I favorite love the fact that habit. I drink a lot of water every day. What's something that you're mm. like, I'm super proud of this healthy habit? Favorite healthy habit. Yeah, favorite healthy habit that you I do. think, like I said earlier, like I do love sweets. I, I wouldn't say I love sweets. So I, I'd say 
the fact that I don't that you, eat the, sweets the fact as that you're often. able to control yes. the fact that you if you wanted if you really allowed yourself to eat Reese's every day that I, would be yeah. bad mm-hmm. because that's your favorite snack treat mm-hmm. but you have the wherewithal to hold back yeah <laughs> I, and I don't I don't really eat too many snacks that often I usually like eat meals so I'd say like that's probably my Okay. My favorite healthy habit, yeah. Okay, are you a do you know what's your cooking game like? You say mm. you like to eat a lot. Of, are you pretty good? Cook? I, w- I wouldn't consider myself a chef, but I can cook some things sometimes. Okay. But yeah, I wouldn't consider myself a chef. But you can make me. enough to like survive when you're hungry. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. All right. If we were well, if you were on a deserted island and oh. you could only take one item, what would that one item be? This is this is a luxury island where you do have food, you have a place to sleep, so you have basic essentials. Oh. But what would be like your one like luxury item that you would take? Because it's not like you're gonna starve there. You're gonna be cool. Luxury. Lux- so if, I, if it's a luxury well, item, well, it's a luxury item I'll because love- the I, the island is not like dire straits. Oh, okay. So it's okay. not like you could like say, okay, I, I would just hope I survive because I don't have any food. Mm-hmm. Like everything's have, there. Everything's there except for like consider items that are considered luxury. Like tech type mm, stuff okay, or whatever. Okay, so which tech? Yeah, item so I, basically, which tech item? Which tech item do you want me to bring? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably have to go with. See, I don't play video games that often, but really? I feel like I would rather have my PS Five than have my cell phone. Wow. Well, okay, but that. But you don't even really play video games though. So why I know, do you say but that? like, I feel like I'd be like. Saying my cell phone just sounds like so like like basic because everyone yeah, like uses yeah, their I feel cell like phone. everybody would say their cell phone. Yeah. So I think I want to be a little different. I'd say okay. I'd bring my PS Five, even though I don't play that and often. And then start but playing I, more to pass yeah. the time because you're stuck mm-hmm. on an island. And I would be able to like communicate with my friends still on the game. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I love or, or just I don't know. I love I love movies and TV shows. Yeah. So maybe even maybe even a TV. Okay, with, so you yeah. mentioned movies and TV shows. So what's like the can't miss show right now that you're streaming on like um, Hulu, Netflix, or watching on cable? What's that show? This is a long. But I'd say Grey's Anatomy. It's a show I'm still watching right now. <laughs> I know, okay. crazy. That's I've ne- you know what I've never watched that, but I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, um, I think I just like at this point I'm kind of just like I've watched so much of it that it's like I can't not watch it. And now it's like a point. how many seasons? It's like seventeen. 20 seasons. Right oh, now, yeah. Okay, so it's like seventeen seasons. Almost there. Okay, so you like the whole doctor? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a doctor, but okay. yeah. That, <laughs> well, yeah, no, I think you're set with yeah, your yeah. NFL career. <laughs> All right, speaking of sports, what's your favorite sports team in another sport? Obviously, we can't say Rams because that's obvious you're playing for the Rams. Mm. So let's go with another sport and a team that you love in another sport. Uh, Lakers or the Dodgers. Okay, so yeah, probably, I'd say probably a little bit more Lakers than Dodgers. I've always been a Lakers fan. Okay. Always been a Dodgers fan. Okay. But... Um, yeah, so I'd probably say more Lakers than Dodgers, but yeah. Lakers. Okay, favorite Laker of all time? Kobe. Yeah. Kobe. And this may seem like an obvious question, but why? Um, why is he my favorite player? Yeah. I think just because, like, I grew up watching them, and, yeah. that, like, he loved the way he approached the game, and, you know, he was a killer, so. He was, you know, a, he, was, was he, just, he just. He was just the best player on my favorite team, so I think I just, uh, you know, you kind of. Yeah. You form, you conform to that, and that was that was just how it was when I was growing up. I love it. I love it. All right, last two. Mm-hmm. If we go around the year, what is your favorite holiday besides your birthday? Obviously, mm-hmm. we we love the fact that we're you know living another year. So besides mm-hmm. birthday, we go around. We've got Christmas, July Fourth, Thanksgiving. So much. What's your favorite holiday? I'd have to say two. Okay, so, like, so let's go with two. For the meaning, I would say Easter. For the okay, meaning for the of meaning Easter. of why yeah. Yeah, Easter why is Easter. Easter. Yes. Okay. And then, since I love food, I'd say Thanksgiving. Oh, because you like to eat. Mm, okay, I so like when Thanksgiving eating. comes, are you, you're you getting, like, multiple plates. You're hitting mm, multiple sides. Definitely. The whole, I'm trying to step up my Thanksgiving game. I'm a pretty good cook, but I haven't tackled Thanksgiving yet, and that's, mm. like, a hard... That's a hard one to Yeah, that's, my mom is... Shout out to my mom. She's the best, but mm. I'm trying to get to that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, T, last one. Mm-hmm. If you had a superpower, like, mm. if I granted you a superpower... And you could have that and enact it whenever you wanted to. What would oh. that superpower be? Mine would be to cure diseases and stuff. Like if someone oh, well, came to me and that's said, "That's not really a superpower." Yes, it is. That's like something that you want to do. That just sounds like something that you want to do. Not yeah. really. well. I mean, if I had the power to do it, I would just like have people come to me and I would touch them and be like, "You no longer have corona. You no longer have this. You no longer have that." So that's what. Okay, but that's a superpower, but that's yeah. more so sounds like like I feel like now you have to answer that question because you can't do that one. Right. Yeah, well, okay, I'll well, answer, I'll I'll answer. Answer. okay, that's, the one, that's um, what I think I would do. But yeah, you made some good points on that. Um, I would go with I'd maybe like 
time travel, that'd be kind of cool. To go be able back to... or forward? Mm, I don't know if I would want to go back. Because I, I feel like I do my best to not live okay. with regrets. You know okay. what I'm saying? Obviously, I've done things that I'm not very fond of. You know what I'm saying? But everybody makes mistakes. But I think, yeah, I'd, uh, I don't know about time travel. Maybe not time travel. But okay. be able to, like, travel to a different place. Maybe not in time. Mm-hmm. But, like, I could, like, at the snap of my finger, be in Paris, France, or, like, Right, in like to, one second yeah, Bali, instead yeah. of having to mm-hmm. like get on a plane and go. Exactly, because like I hate... We could literally be like, okay, we're going to go to and just Mexico right now. Clap my hands and I'm there. You I know like that mean? one. I'm going to steal that one. Because <laughs> I don't really like traveling, but I like to get there. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah. a big plane person. I'm not, I just like to like arrive there and be like, okay, I'm here. Yeah, I don't really like heights, so that's definitely Are you scared area. of heights? Uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better, but yeah, I don't like heights at all. Okay, so Mm -hmm. when you're flying, when you guys have to fly all the time for games and stuff, you're just kind of like asleep or just praying you make it? I do my best to sleep. Obviously, yeah, yeah, I pray every time, but I do my best to sleep, but it's still like not a, it's not an easy thing to do for me. Yeah. I kind of just... I kind of trained myself, like every week when I was flying, covering the NFL and stuff, like as soon as I took off... Before the lady would come around and ask for like your snack order, I would already already be asleep. Oh, I just had my nice. mind like, and then I would wake up and be like, okay, I'm in Philly or I'm wherever I'm in Detroit. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty amazing. Well, T, thank you so much no for coming over once again, coming, driving two hours to get here, battling traffic. Your dedication is so real. I really appreciate your support and just really appreciate you. Anything else you want to shout out? This is your chance to mm. shout out. This is the Terrell Burgess shout out moment. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have any shout outs, but okay. uh, I'm excited to get back on the field with my teammates mm-hmm. and uh, go Rams. Yes, definitely. And again, T, thank you so much. I just want to say so grateful for your trust and respect. So many NFL players are respecting my knowledge and passion for what I believe is the greatest league in the world. So T, again, thank you so much for coming, being in my home today. So amazing. <laughs> no problem. Super pumped. It's just been an amazing time with you. And once again, guys, I want to shout out the Exter wallet brand. This is my favorite smart wallet, smart trackable wallets. This is definitely something that came into my life. And I don't think I'm ever going to go back to a regular wallet after this because this keeps me so organized. And it's a luxury item. You know, I like nice purses. I like nice things like that. And this takes my wallet game to the next level. So make sure you guys check out exter.com. And I want to thank you guys so much. 9.8 million views worldwide. This is something that I started independently away from the TV work that I've done to showcase a lighter side of athletes. And it's gone so well. I mean, we're almost at 10 million views in a couple years, which is super exciting. So I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you so much to my camera guy, Alan, my ace behind the scenes. And make sure you guys subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much.